What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal in the FA Cup final. We are really making a habit of this. It's me versus Troops yet again. We're going to be doing the combined 11 for you guys today. I know you guys ain't going to fully agree with everything that we are going to say. So if you guys don't, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content. Now, let's go straight into this combined 11, but first... We'll talk about the game a little bit. What's the predictions, I guess? I know you ain't going to be as confident as you were last year. Not as confident as I was last year, but I'm more confident than I was going into the last FA Cup final. You get me? Okay. I think you had a better team then. I think we was in a worse position, even though we finished higher in the league. I think the manager as well. Obviously, you can't really say Arteta's better than Wenger, but at this moment in time, there's a better feeling around the club. Yeah. And everyone's driving in the same direction. You get me? We're all driving the same car. We're on the same ship. You get me? So, I think we'll win. I feel like you guys said that last year, though, as well. Nah, last year we was kind of capitulating to the end of the season. We could have got top four. We bottled it against Brighton. All we needed was a, was a, what was it, a draw. And we lost. Mm. You get me? So, we bottled it. We was going into the Europa League final in a bad run of form. Good. We was on good run of form in Europe. But the league, we kind of was capitulating. You have to remember, we got smoked at Leicester. We got smoked at Wolves. Where else did we get smoked? Brighton. Man was going everywhere and getting smoked. Palace is its own thing. Palace, it's Trust me. Mm. Right, um, I'm not going to ask you for a score prediction. I'll save that to the end. We'll go straight into the combined 11. We're going to start at right back because no one's having a goalkeeper debate. Who are you taking for right back? I'll go Ainsley. You understand? For me, I think the way he's performed this year... I think he hasn't put a foot wrong. Every time he's gone in, he's put in minimum 8 out of 10 performance blood. He has been defensively solid. He has been good going forward. When you see him play behind Pepe, you know Pepe is going to have a good game. You Here's the thing. We've had this, we were arguing about this on AFTV as well. We actually have to come to an answer for this one this yeah, time. Yeah, cause, no, now we have to. As Pete, for nearly all of our defensive stats, is top out of all of our defenders. And I know it's not saying much about our defence, but it's also the same way with your one as well. I think as has been our best defender by a mile this season. I ain't really watched Chelsea, blood. You get me? I thought man, I, I thought man rate more Reese James than, than, than Aspel well, Aquetta. You get me? Potential. Yeah, but it's like, with my Chelsea Bridges, they're always asking for Reese James to start. So I don't even get why you're putting As Aspilicueta into this argument, blood. But for me... He's consistent the whole season, bro. He is Mr. Consistent as well, blood, you understand? But for me, what Ainsley's done, he can play multiple positions. He is, he, like, he's not even a right back, blood. <laughs> you understand? That but he's playing... you want to put him somewhere else. Nah, for me, Arteta will probably play him at left back. Left wing back, sorry. Were we going 4-3-3 three, three or what? We went four at the back for the last one. We'll go five at the back this time because we know that's what we're both going to play. <coughs> yeah, so for right wing back. If you're saying right wing back, then Ainsley takes his spot 100%. Cool, then I want Aspie right centre back. Yeah, you can have him, but then you got to have... But then, yeah, you can have him there, but then, get me, Tierney's got to be in there as well, blood. Tierney you can have. I'm not going to debate left back either. Well, left wing back. I would I'm going to say put, I want Zuma in there, though. I would even put... Um, so what, you're saying Aspie Laqueta, Zuma... And Tierney as the centre backs, the no, three. No, you want Tierney at left wing back, don't no, you? I'll put Saka at left wing back. But Saka at left wing back. Yeah. That's where Saka the goal's been playing majority of the season. So what, That's where he got like all of them goals and assists and when he was doing the mad thing. He was playing left wing back, bro. That's what I'm saying, how cold the shoot is. He was coming from deep and just brucking man's clock blood. Okay, you can have him but for left wing back. Because you want Tierney for left centre back. Yeah, because recently we we've been playing Tierney as a as the first centre back, but on the left hand side, isn't it? Obviously he's a left back. And because of his defensive qualities, he could play that position. So if you're saying we're going for a back three, then yeah, I'd put Tierney at so what? Azpilicueta, Zuma, Tierney, yeah. and then Saka left wing back, and then it's, it's either Ainsley or Azpilicueta. They're gonna have to Ashley's pick because right for me it's got oh yeah 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 so as yeah so Ainsley uh, yeah. It's gonna be James versus Ainsley main and now. So I think that's the more even argument. Yeah, for me Ainsley wins it, man. I think he, yeah, me. for me it'd be Reese James as well. I will say, wait, how consistent has he been throughout the entire? Season? Fully consistent. He hasn't put a foot wrong this year. That's the, when he when he actually got when when Bellerin come back from injury, and Arteta put him in for the Chelsea game, everyone was like, "Why are you dropping Ainsley? He ain't done a foot. He ain't put a foot wrong." And when Ainsley came into the team, that's when you started to see the best of Pepe. 
Do you understand? So that's why I'll, I'll give you that because Reese James fell for a little bit since we came back from lockdown. So I'll give you Maitland Niles. Into midfield though, because this one's going to be tight. And I'm not saying anything other than the Kovic and Jorginho pivot because that's worked wonders for us this season. Wait, man, like Xhaka blood, the redemption blood. You understand? The, 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 the revival of Xhaka blood. The way turn from where he was talking to your fans a couple months ago. That's what I'm saying, blood. The, the redemption of him, blood. The rise of him. The way he has played, blood. When he don't play, the midfield is just not the same, blood. You understand? You've even got Sabios, blood. Since lockdown, the way these kids played. Jesus Christ, blood. This is on since lockdown. For me, Xhaka. I'd go Xhaka. You want to go Kovacic and Jorginho. I don't rate Jorginho. I rate Kovacic still. Kovacic Jorginho's is... fell apart a bit towards yeah. the second end of the season. Xhaka's been like a vital part of this team. This season, especially. You understand? Especially what he went through as well. Okay. With the whole, the captaincy, 10 man to fuck off. And then being out of the team, being brought back into the team. And we've literally, when, when if Abba comes off and Xhaka, Xhaka, Xhaka always on the pitch, Xhaka gets the armband now. You understand? So you're seeing the redemption in that kid. For me, I'd go Xhaka and Kovacic. That's what I would go. I'll be more fair and give you that because I know Jorginho has fallen off a yeah, little this season, so bit. I can't really say much on that. The attack, though, Pulisic has to be in there. That's straight up. Abama Yang, Abama Blood Clark Yang has to be in there. Play, That's straight up, Blood. Yang. Right wing. Uh, William's been good since the turn of lockdown. I'm not even going to try and say he hasn't been because I know a lot of people say I've got a William agenda, so he has played well since lockdown. But He's probably been your best player. Nah, I'd be saying more Pulisic. He's been way more yeah, decisive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Williams had better set pieces and penalties. Let's be honest. Nah, but the set pieces have been ridiculous. Nah, he scored that other one. He scored that, he scored that free kick. I swear, that I mad free kick. Sam, but that's been what his first this season. Was that his first? But he was he he was. I swear he scored like five goals in a row or something. Most been penalties, is it? Most been but he's still scoring, blood. He's created the most chances since coming out. Yeah, but that's like Fernandez, blood at United. All he does is score fucking penalties, blood. Man, like Fernandez, fam. You get me? Get to know Had people. Get his obligatory one here. Let me fucking Fernandez, blood. Waste my new fam. You get me? I'm telling you, blood. His when you see that's nah. So what you say? Nah, William can't go. Eh? No, no, no. Pepe. Alright, we'll go for Pepe. So let's round off this combined eleven one more time. It, we didn't even pick a goalkeeper because I wanted to skip that. Which one are you going for? Martinez, because he's Martinez. fit, in it? All right, we'll go Martinez in goal. It's mainly maitland Niles right wing back, Tierney left wing back. No, no it's Saka, Saka left wing back, Tierney left centre back, with Zuma and Aspi at centre back with him. It's Kovacic and Xhaka in midfield, and Aubameyang, Pulisic and Nicolas Pepe up front. I Ga think that team's actually a decent team. That team I, would think, I, I think that team would challenge. That team would definitely challenge. I think that team would actually... It's got a lot of youth in it. As yeah, well. it was slap man. It's got energy in it, blood. Mm. It's got... Yeah. If you just sorted out Zuma. If we had a proper centre-back in there, I think the team could actually fully compete. I think that's Aspie's best position. Yeah. I think I, I ain't really got a problem with Aspie. I think Zuma. He's the one that will probably let down that defence. Because everyone else, I think... Yeah, Tierney, Aspie... He's not a lateral centre-back, though, is he? Has he... Well Who, Tini? Yeah. Yeah, Tini's been solid, bro. You're okay. going you're gonna, to you're gonna learn about Tini, bro. Well, yeah. we'll see on Sunday. Guys, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the comments or the players that we're putting down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis. Don't forget to check out Troops TV as well. Back again, you already know. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the chels. No, we're going to go whoop your ass. You're going to go out with a semi. Yeah, you're not going out. Oh. And it looks like we've conceded a penalty. Just, just remember what football Twitter's like. I don't mind. Save this. Yeah? Fucking save this. Work well, one, troops. Remember how confident you were in that preview? 3 1 with your chest, you were telling me what happened. I told you. Arsenal, we're going to let you down. Man. This is Pete still.